Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I would like to show you new normal how to travel right now in this current situation. It is actually my first flight and I'm going for a holiday to Spain. So keep tuned, I will keep you updated how it is when you travel by train and then on the airport. So at the moment we are going to London Luton Airport. Guys, I'm really surprised and disappointed that not many people are wearing face masks in the train, even the face covering is mandatory in the UK public transport. Quite strange. However, there was nobody to check the ticket, so probably people don't care at all. Yeah, it's I'm surprising. People are not wearing masks. Finally, after two hours, we arrived to London Luton Airport and now we are going inside. We will see if airport is already opened and our flight is actually 10 to 7 in the morning. So we have another five hours to kill. <laughs> Let's go. All around the airport are signs to wear face covering, but even some members of airport staff are walking around with no face mask. They should lead by example, isn't it? It's 3 a.m. and almost nobody is here. We have to wait to go to the duty-free as you are allowed to enter the security control three hours before your flight departure. They do not measure your temperature, but there are thermal cameras so they can see if you have a high temperature. You must wear a face covering to go through security control. So we can save some money today. It's called budget holiday now. No. Yeah. I'll find something in Spain. <laughs> I wanted to buy some makeup and cosmetics as it is much cheaper here. I cannot believe that everything is closed. Seriously? Maybe boots will be open so we can Look buy this, some new wear. <laughs> okay, it's good because we will not spend any money today. <laughs> I can't recognize it anymore. You know what? This is actually our first fly after a lockdown. Yeah, it's true, but I Everything thought at least something would be shot. opened. As you can see, the airport is full of people, but only Starbucks, Pret, Boots and JD is open. All the rest is closed. Almost every second seat is marked with the red sign not to sit to create at least some social distancing. Let's go to Malaga. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Everyone is wearing face mask and trying to keep some distance. You cannot board without face mask. I think everybody is wondering how is the travel insurance working those days. Basically, there is no travel insurance which will insure you against pandemics. However, if the government does not advise against traveling into your destination, you can travel and the insurance will cover only emergency medical care and repatriation to bring you back in relation to pandemic and COVID-19. I recommend you to check the policy before purchasing. I paid only the basic package, which cost £14 for 9 days in Europe for two people. I could buy also premium package for £25, which covers you for even more things. I will leave you a link in the description box to my travel insurance and it will give you 20% off the premium package if you use this link. <laughs> Our captain just informed us that the aircraft was fully disinfected and the air in the cabin is changing every three minutes. Everyone must be wearing face mask at all time. The aircraft 
left is really full. As you can see, not even one seat is empty. You can use toilet, but only one person can walk through the aircraft to keep the social distancing. We are flying with Visa from Luton to Malaga. We purchased our tickets two weeks ago. It was really cheap. We paid only 160 pounds for return tickets for both of us. Today, it was around 350 pounds for one way. I really like Viser much more than Ryanair. For your own safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the captain has turned off the fastened seatbelt sign. Please open the compartments carefully and check the seat pockets for your personal belongings that you may have brought with. We just landed in Spain, in Malaga. How do you feel? Good, I'm happy. We are here, finally. And the flight was nice. But it's really cold. So bad to work this fast. It's yeah. I like this, this, this simple one because this is you can really breathe through this one. Yeah, it's to be like three hours in the in the plane is really hard. Ah, I cannot wait to be out. <laughs> sure. They just check your online form. If you don't have online form, you need to fill it in a paper they don't measure temperature but they have like thermal cameras so they can see the same was in uk so when you arrive they scan your qr code and then you can go <laughs> we just crossed the road we purchased ticket for the train it was four euro for 30 and now we are going directly to torre molinos which is second zone As you can see, the train is really clean and everyone is wearing face masks. This is a huge difference than in London, where most of the people in public transport don't care about face covering. I did not see even one member of Malaga airport or public transport without face covering, but I cannot say the same in London. I hope that this video is helpful and that you like it. It's perfect. I'm surprised there's quite a lot of people on the beach. Well, it is cool. The people are almost hot. Like, we try to do social distancing, so to be a few meters apart of each other. Everyone is wearing masks in the city, on the beach, a few people. Because otherwise, you will have a very trendy tan, like face mask. <laughs> I mean, oh well, after these months to be in the sea and swimming, so this is Mediterranean Sea and we are in uh, Torre Molinos, which is uh, in, no, oh, which is between Marbella and Malaga. Basically, Malaga is just, just down there. There is uh, Malaga. The mountains is very similar to Croatia. But yeah, I'm surprised that we have a huge waves all day long. But it's very nice here, it's beautiful. Beautiful beach. It's very nice, it's very warm. It's very warm. <laughs> beautiful beach, very warm. The sea is very warm as well, so it's amazing. We came today, uh, we arrived around 9 o'clock. So the first people on the beach. It was a little bit chilly. Oh wow, this is <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. I really hope that you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye!